why your broken bone isn't healing fast, hidden factors you didn't know. Ever had a painful fracture and weeks later it still hurts like day one? You're taking your meds, eating well, doing everything right, so why is it taking forever to heal? Well, here's the shocking truth. Some of the things slowing down your recovery might actually be hiding in your medicine cabinet or your daily habits. Stay with me, because what you'll learn in the next few minutes could completely change how fast your body heals. Before we talk about what goes wrong, let's talk about the miracle that happens when everything goes right. Your bones don't just heal, they rebuild themselves like engineers repairing a bridge. There are four key stages. 1. Inflammation stage. Your body sounds the alarm. Blood rushes in, cleaning up damage and forming a clot. That swelling? It's actually step one of healing. 2. Soft callus stage. A scaffold made of fibrous tissue forms around the break. Think of it as a flexible bandage holding things together. 3. Hard callus stage. Calcium and phosphorus begin to harden that scaffold into real bone, reconnecting both sides. 4. Remodeling stage, the longest one. Your body reshapes and strengthens the new bone, sometimes for months or even years, until it's almost as good as new. Amazing, right? But here's the twist. This natural repair system can be sabotaged by things you might never suspect. Let's talk about the hidden culprits in your medicine drawer. NSAIDs like ibuprofen, aspirin, or Voltaren. They might ease pain, but they also block inflammation, the very first stage your body needs to start healing. Doctors often recommend switching to acetaminophen, paracetamol, early on instead. Corticosteroids like prednisone or dexamethasone. Great for inflammation, terrible for bone repair. They reduce blood flow and slow down the cells that build new bone. Chemotherapy drugs designed to stop fast-growing cancer cells, but they also affect fast-dividing bone cells, delaying healing and sometimes weakening bone structure. Certain antibiotics, like quinolones, like ciproflexacin, linked to tendon issues and possible interference with bone and cartilage repair. Bisphosphonates for osteoporosis, powerful bone protectors in the long run, but long-term use may rarely cause delayed healing or unusual fractures. Golden rule, never stop your medication on your own, but always, always tell your doctor everything you take after a fracture. Medications aren't the only villains here. Your lifestyle could be working against you too. Smoking, the number one enemy of bone healing. Nicotine cuts oxygen and blood flow, starving your bones of what they need most. Poor nutrition, no building blocks, no bone. Lack of protein, vitamin D, vitamin C, calcium, or iron can all slow repair. Chronic conditions, diabetes, vascular disease, anemia, or thyroid and kidney problems all reduce blood supply or cell activity essential for healing. Time and fracture type. Older adults heal slower naturally, and complex or open fractures take more time. Infection. A hidden infection at the fracture site can halt healing altogether. Improper stabilization. If the bone moves too much before it's ready, that bridge can't form. Stability is key. Now that you know the hidden enemies, here's how to win the battle. Follow your doctor's plan exactly, from immobilization to follow-ups. Be honest about your medications and habits. Eat for healing. Focus on protein, vitamin D, calcium, and vitamin C. Quit smoking now. Your bones will thank you. Commit to physical therapy when your doctor says it's safe. It restores movement and strength faster. Your body wants to heal. Every cell on your bone is fighting for that. All you have to do is remove what's holding it back. Because when you give your body the right environment, it performs miracles. So what's hiding in your routine that might be slowing your recovery?